Hi there, Hamish Conway here and welcome to Tacos Tuesday and with me is Sebastian Hargraves. As always, welcome Sebastian. Thanks Hamish, glad to be here. Excellent. So Tacos Tuesday, every Tuesday, we share with you the latest Amazon tactics and strategies to help you be more successful on the Amazon channel. Now, today we thought we'd do something a little bit different and and I was, I was just, because I know Seb's just got so much going on in his brain there and knows it, it's called tacit knowledge. Like when you ask him a question, he knows it, right? So today I thought we'd go, right, how about Seb, let's say that, you know, you are a bit like a mechanic, you know, someone comes in with their car and they're going to open up the hood and then you're going to ask them to like rev it a little bit and just kind of listen to the different weird noises and, and, and find out what's going on. And then diagnose the uh diagnose the issue so a bit like that imagine like this is how this conversation is going to go today is we'll imagine that you've um opened up the hood on someone's amazon ads account and then you're going to talk through this is how you would think looking at a high level at least we're not getting into granular here but what you would go through to uh find the right uh opportunities or issues there with an account. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I just want to remind people about uh, three events that are coming up. First of all, by the time you hear this, in two days time on Thursday, the 24th of October in Melbourne, from 4pm to 6pm, we've got our Amazon vendor mastermind meetup at uh, Work Club on George Street. So if you haven't already registered for that, you've still got time, uh, do that. Then the following week on Wednesday, the 30th in Sydney, uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Work Club as well. Um, I forget the name of that uh, venue there. It might be George Street if I haven't got that wrong. Or if, uh, anyway, have a look on the website. Uh, that's global. Homepage of the website there, you'll see it. But these events are fantastic where you get to meet with other like-minded vendors and you'll learn a whole lot just from them and also uh, we'll be sharing some hot uh, tips as well. Then Amazon Ads on the 31st of uh, October in Sydney, 9 a.m. through to 2 p.m. is their first uh, summit that they're putting on in Australia. So we're excited to be exhibiting at that. Um, so wherever you are in Australia, make sure you uh, get there for that uh, inaugural one. Looking at the lineup, it is incredible. We'll put the uh, address to it below because uh, it's an awkward um, address there. So it'd be great to see you there at uh, any one of those three events. Okay. Seb, I've just um, just pulled up <laughs> with my uh, Amazon Ads account, and I've um, opened it up to you. We're on a on a on a Zoom call, and and you go, okay, Hamish, I need you to give me control here, and I'm going to click around and look for some opportunities. So, where would you start? Like, you open up an Ads account. What do you What do you do first? Yeah, it's good. It's, I mean, it's a good analogy because there's a lot of parts within an advertising account that actually do replicate, you know, um, a car and, you know, going faster. So, mm. um, yeah, I, I think like any good mechanic, the first thing that you want to do is look over the whole car. Um, you want to look over the, you know, the suspension, the wheels, the, you know, under the, uh, under the engine, you know, all of the, all of the parts that, you know, contribute to the car and, and uh, where you do that in Amazon is through the campaign manager. Um, and so you would um, be in looking at the campaigns and specifically uh, when we're talking about, um, uh, you know, what we'd be looking for inside that, um, that area, we'd be looking for um, what kind of products you're selling and how you're grouping them within your campaigns. And the reason that's important is because, and we've talked about this before, but grouping your campaigns of different price points. So if you have a product that's $10 and a product that's $100, it makes it impossible for you to um, calculate a correct bid that you should be paying. And what we mean by that calculating the correct bid is that every product has a certain conversion rate and that conversion rate allows that product to get advertising at a certain cost. Uh, now products that are $200 have a much lower conversion rate uh, because they're more expensive than a product that is say $10 because it's cheaper, you know, the conversion rate's much higher. And so those two bids and what you can afford to pay might be 50 cents on the, you know, $10 product. And it might be $3 on the, um, you know, on the $200 product. And so you can see there straight away, if you have both of those in the campaign and you're, and you're targeting a specific keyword or whatever, and you try and 
optimize a bid, you're going to be torn between, well, do I set it at $3 or do I set it at 50 cents? You don't know which one to do. And that's because mm. the structure is wrong um, and it's set up incorrectly. So that's kind of the first place that I would start um, on, on checking your um, advertising. Okay. Because I was, I was actually thinking, because when you open it up, you've got a, a bunch of numbers, right? But like, you know, you can be looking at the dashboard, how many kilometers is it done <laughs> and, and uh, what have you. But in reality, they're, they're like a, some initial numbers, but you, you've got to dig in to find the story, right? So you probably don't dwell too much on looking at those initial high-level metrics. It's more, right, let's dive into, dive into these details. So you're looking at the campaigns and you're going, how well hmm. are these structured? Are they, are they split out? Um, what, what else about the campaign types do you, do you look at? Yeah, so, you know, I suppose this would be like, uh, you know, looking at the, you're getting a little bit more detailed now. So the first step to be clear yeah. with the campaigns, like Hamish just said, we don't care about the, what the advertising performance is, at least at this stage, we're literally just looking at the structure. So we're not looking at the overall performance. We're clicking into the campaigns and be like, okay, what, you know, how many ad groups, et cetera. So that was kind of the first step. Yeah. The second one that Hamish, you mentioned about the different, you know, campaign types is kind of like, is the car operating on all, on all cylinders? Um, mm. you know, so now you're getting a little bit more granular and you're saying, okay, well, you know, and, and in this case, Amazon has sponsored product, sponsored brand and sponsored display. And very easily inside your console, you can filter for those different campaign types and see if you're spending any money um, or, you know, as a percentage, how much you're spending on each of those types. Um, you know, majority of the time, you're going to be spending on sponsored products. And that's fine, um, but we've seen a lot of accounts where it's like no sponsor brand and no sponsor display, but they definitely have their place and should be used, you know, particularly for, you know, brands that are trying to expand. Yeah, okay. And because as we, as we go through this here, um, it's kind of looking over Seb's shoulder so that you can do this on your own account, right? And in terms of um, tuning into what he's, what he's talking about and then go when you go into your own account, you can start to do this high level, high level look. Okay, so yep. you, so that's campaigns, and then what what do you look at next? So the next one is uh, uh, probably uh, products. Actually, um, we look at next, and so mm. and what we mean by that is um, inside Amazon, there's a tab called products that you can select, and in there it will show you you know how many products are making any sales at all. It'll also show you how many products have any advertising at all. Um, and so the reason that we look at this one next is it's probably the next in line in regards to, you know, what can have the biggest impact on an account. Um, and that's because what you're really looking for in there is a lot of, a lot of gaps, right? So a lot of time we go into, um, into accounts and people are like, they think they're advertising their whole catalog, but there's like a whole bunch of products that are really getting no, either very little ad spend because they're not structured, right? Like, so that first step we talked about before. Mm you're now seeing that that problem unfold in the in this step that we're talking about um or there's just simply products that are not in campaigns and they're not aware of it and so that this products tab will allow you to identify what products am i actually advertising on which products am i not um and should be yeah fantastic so that's really helpful uh okay so then you've established there that hey there could be some products not advertising on again we're like a diagnosis sort of a approach here not actually going in and fixing that at, at, at this stage. Uh, yep. And then what, what, what do you look at next after products? Where do you go to? So the next one would be budgets um, after that. So budgets probably, you know, the most equivalent thing on a car that a budget would be would be fuel. Um, <laughs> you know, so you're checking yeah. whether the fuel is stagnant, you know, all of that sort of stuff. If you've got enough, do you constantly run out? You ask phoning a friend on the side of the road, come help me <laughs> fill up my car. Um, if that's happening, you know, as it would, you know, when you're driving, it's not a very efficient journey. Um, and so that can happen, um, on Amazon, it happens quite a lot. Um, and so within your ad console, there is a tab that says budgets and that allows to see, um, how often you've been out of budget from a percentage point of view. Um, so you can see how often that happens. Um, and you can also see the average time that you're in budget, um, as well. So those two metrics are important, obviously, because you need fuel to, you know, to, to drive and fuel to grow. Brilliant. You're just nailing this uh, car analogy. That's, uh, I know. I'm, got, I'm going with it. Just off the cuff. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. So, okay. So we're really, yeah, and, and that's a really easy one to be noticing, right? If you are running out and particularly on high-performing campaigns and then 
the answer is going to be, well, you need to look at adjusting that if it's the right structure as well. So that's that's yep. where you're going. So again, just identifying some of these challenging areas. So that that's, we talked about campaigns, looking at campaigns and, and the uh, structure. We talked about products, are you advertising or not? And then uh, budgets, which all links into the current campaigns. But then what else do you then go and have a look at? Yeah, so the next step from there is um, going to look at the targeting. Uh, now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more granular, but there is a there is a tab in Amazon that allows you to look at what kind of targets are you going after. And to be clear, what we, when we say targets, what we mean is, you know, what is someone searching for on Amazon that you're targeting? So, you know, um, it could be running shoes or, you know, black shoes or whatever it is um, in there. And so... In this step of the phase, what you're really looking for, and this is where it gets a little bit more technical, you're looking for, you know, mat, what we call match types. Um, so there's different match types on Amazon. There's exact match, there's phrase match, there's broad match. But you can kind of group them into two kind of areas. There's what we call research targeting, which is phrase, broad, auto campaigns. They all sit under the umbrella of research. And then you've got your exact match targeting, which is where your targeting is really... Um, uh, really specific um, and also product targeting kind of fits into that one as well um, and and so, so basically what you want to be looking for is you know what what percentage do you have of both how much research are you doing uh, which is going to be less efficient there's going to be more wasted spend around mm. that group of of targets versus how much um, is in the exact match um, camp uh, yeah so that's kind of what you'd want to look for nice nice okay yeah so we're really and again, at a high level, they're just going, if there's no exact match, then you just know straight away that there's there's opportunity there to, to make things more efficient. What about ju just uh, linked into, into that there, at what stage would you have a look at negative matching? Whereabouts would you see if any negative matching is happening? Yeah, so negative matching is tricky to look at it at the whole account. Um, and that's because negative yeah. matching is done on a campaign level. So mm. the only way to look at negative matching, the, the most efficient way is to download what they call a bulk sheet. Um, that's where you'll be able to see all of your negative matching across your whole account. Um, and to be clear for anyone who doesn't know, negative matching is the process of um, telling Amazon, do not show me for these particular search terms. So you might yeah. say, don't show me for um, red shoes if you've got black shoes or mm. something. Mm -hmm. So how would, um, how would someone, if they were like ignoring the bulk download side of things. Is there a kind of a fast way to click into a campaign and then go, am I negative matching anywhere? You know, cause that could be the, the, the reality. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no real fast way. The only way is to click into each of the campaigns and look at your negative matching within each of those. Yeah. Um, so yeah. if you've only got a few campaigns, that's not going to be a problem. If you've got thousands, that's going to be the hard work. Mm -hmm. But even even just looking there to you know if you're not the person who's actually doing it, then it's good to go check that. Okay, mm. so then there's another tab called history that you like to go to. So tell us a bit about yep. what you're really looking for there. Yeah, so history is good on a whole bunch of levels. Um, the first and foremost is it tells us how frequent the account is getting optimized, um, mm. and so that tells us. Um, you know, it well, and you, if you're looking at your own account, like, you know, how often is this, is, is my account getting optimized and, you know, is it getting optimized enough? Um, it also has um, the types of changes in that history. So it will tell you things like bid changes, but it'll also tell you budget changes. So not only can you see how often, uh, but you can also see what kind of changes are happening regularly. Yeah, nice. And so that's, and, and how often, yeah, and I, I guess because you know how often things should be getting uh, adjusted. And I know, well, the accounts that we look at, there's every day there's uh, changes being made to, to bids um, as, a, as a starter. So, so that gives you a bit of a sense of, okay, how much optimization is going on here. Good. All right. So yeah. we've talked about campaigns. We've talked about products. We've talked about budgets and then different targeting. And you look at the history, and then where do you go to next? Yeah, so the last area I look at is what we call brand metrics, um, which again is in the ad console, and you can hit the drop down and select that. Um, now, brand metrics is only available to brands that are brand registered. Um, but mm. um, if you do have that, 
Um, it's really helpful. Um, Amazon gives you a lot of good data in there, including they show you your shop account. So how many people actually come and purchase from you. Um, you can look at it by week or by month. So you can have a look at how many shoppers you got um, over a 12 month period versus the category medium and the category top. Uh, obviously that's really helpful to understand where you sit within um, that group. Uh, you can also look at your conversion rate. And this one's probably my favorite um, thing to look at. You can look at your conversion rate versus the category conversion rate. Now there's one mm -hmm. little caveat here when you are looking at this, be really specific with the category that you select. Um, if you're too broad with your category, you'll be comparing yourself to, um, you know, to products that are probably not the same. An example would be if you're selling into baby, and you're just using the baby category, um, but you sell, I don't know, um, you sell, uh, uh, what's an example, you know, uh, baby wraps, um, but most of the that category is going to be dominated by baby wipes because baby wipes are, you know, consumable and they get and they get used quite a lot. So the conversion mm. rate won't, wouldn't stack up in that case. Um, so you want to make sure that you're kind of going down a level to the, the most relevant um, category when you're looking at the brand metrics. Nice, nice. Okay, so then you've you've effectively looked at six tabs: campaigns, products, budgets, targeting, history, brand metrics. And is there? And then at that stage, what what do you know? <laughs> what what would you what do you generally know about about an account? At what level? And then at, at what level do you know? If you get what I mean, like obviously you haven't gone granular on it, but within ten minutes you've probably realised quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, you know, you, you understand how well the account is being run um, from an advertising point of view mm. and what levers that could be pulled to help improve the performance. Um, yeah. yeah. So, you know, there's more, obviously, that can be done to get even more specific than that, of course. But it's like very quickly you'll know, um, you know, how well the account's being run. But you'll also know what opportunity there is to grow at least somewhat um, you'll know, yeah. you know, understanding yeah. if your conversion rate stacks up versus the category and things like that are going to, you're going to help you understand, okay, I'm ready to push and, and yeah. drive advertising. Yeah. No, that's, yeah, that's good. So I think like for people listening to this, regardless of, you know, where your Amazon ads understanding is at, uh, it's really like, have a, go and have a look at your account. And even even just yeah. realizing you're running out of budget a lot of the time, that could be a huge eye opener. Like, oh no, okay, didn't appreciate that. And then there's things like day parting that you could start to do, or if you realize that you have got products of high value and low value together, break those out. You know, so these these will be some simple things. Or if you notice that you didn't have any negative matching, you might want to start looking at at that where there's clicks with with um with no spend uh, clicks with no no sales uh and and or you know no exact terms like some quick wins there look at the history is there any change happening quite quickly you're going to get a bit of a sense to go okay there's probably more here that needs to be looked at and so get you know given this here and what what we'll what we're actually offering here is look you can get Seb to look under the hood with you so you book a time uh and and open up your ads account Seb will do this with you and have a look at it and if it makes sense, if he's seeing some opportunity there at a high level to actually dive into what we call our Amazon ads spotlight audit and where it gets more granular looking at um, branded search versus uh, category search and, and really finding you the opportunities and where and what the upside looks like. So that would be the, the next steps there. But you can, you can make a good start with that yourself. And if you want to have a chat to Seb, then you can do that. So what you would do is you would go to go to the Cell Global website, gocellglobal.com, and then look at services, and then you'll see management for Amazon ads, and then you, you'll see uh, a book of call button there. And so this is something new we're just trying because we were just going, how can we help people quickly? And this is one of those ways. And also, Seb might look on, under the hood there and go, actually, you're good. And often that happens as well. Like we see people uh, are doing a great job. And, and even just that peace of mind or assurance, reassurance is uh, quite useful as well. So any yep. any parting words, uh, Seb, from, you know, maybe keeping in, in theme with the uh, the car theme there that you could just put you on the spot? <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, we... <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, I, I think it's kind of like, 
I don't service and repair my own car because I'm not a mechanic. Um, and so <laughs> yeah. I, I go to, you know, I understand when something's wrong, um, obviously. And so I suppose, you know, what we're trying to do is equip you guys to understand that if there is something wrong, you know, you need someone to come and look at that as a, you know, as a specialist to, to do it in the same way that I know when something's wrong with my car, but I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to get, you know, get a mechanic to fix it. Someone who's proficient and professional in their field. And I think that's what we're kind of talking about. Have a look. If there is a problem, then maybe it's worth a conversation. Mm, great. Excellent. Okay. Thanks, Seb. Really appreciate it. Another good, uh, good episode there. And feel free to connect, gosellglobal.com and under services there, management for Amazon ads, and also the events that we've got. Look at the show notes below. Uh, Melbourne, 24th, Sydney, 30th, and the Amazon ads event on the 31st of October. So look forward to seeing you at those perhaps. All right. Thanks very much. All the best. Go well.